you will literally be handheld and walk through this planet. Bar. Uh, the burning weed with its roots in hell. It is true. podcast hey welcome to the greenhouse podcast we got it rolling john sally the spider the legend how are you we are well thank you so much for being on the oh, podcast man, man. I, I couldn't wait you know josh calls me we roll jamaica we roll <laughs> yeah. did canada, we roll we canada roll. we roll hey, i Vegas, roll we roll Yes, I, like I roll with the white teak. <laughs> <laughs> the white seek. The I'll white take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I got. I got to say, one hundred percent. John is as real as it gets. He yeah. has Thank answered you. my text every time I've sent a text. Yep. Every time he has said, "Be here at this time," he is there. One hundred percent. One hundred percent real. We were, we were together in Vegas. He's one hundred. Yeah. And we had a really bad situation. <laughs> uh, we walked the strip. We walked twenty the miles. Strip. Twenty miles on the strip. Right. And uh, we get to the location we're supposed to get in. Jaws peeps it right away. It ain't. This ain't happening. <laughs> like, like, like they doing more in here than we. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we bounced. <laughs> I switched hotels and got on a flight and was out. Yeah. But uh, you know, wow. not. Yeah. I decided wow. not before meeting the um, wow. the people I needed to see yeah. at the convention. But we launched Deuces Twenty Two in Nevada, uh, April fifteenth. This April year, 14th, this year, oh, oh brand new! Yeah. I thought yes. it was a little bit older. Yeah, than well, that. we were older, and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, the you new pivot. rules. You There's a lot pivot. of rules yeah. that hit in this yeah. cannabis life. No. Yeah. So what? So talk to us about Deuces Twenty Two. Right. Well, it's uh, my daughter's the CEO, Tyler Milan. Yes. She She's was beautiful, high times intelligent, top fifty women in cannabis, and uh, all about education. We develop a lifestyle cannabis brand. Uh, and well, we're really a lifestyle brand, premium brand. And some of the SKUs we sell happen to be cannabis or related to cannabis and the mm -hmm. lifestyle. Mm -hmm. She's about destigmatizing, decriminalizing, and educating cannabis. Yes. Uh, She's and, a rock star. Yeah. yeah. I so I just that. got I mean, behind yes. her. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, that's yes. my daughter. <laughs> yes. uh, and mm -hmm. I travel the world with her, of her uh, speaking the truth of cannabis and uh, her truth and putting out really good products. So we film uh, a behind the scenes or the making of, and it's called Come Roll With Us. And wherever she goes, we film it. Nice. And that's it. Oh, that, nice. we, we have, we're about flower. Uh, I was trying to push the vape thing, but she's the boss, and <laughs> yeah. she was right. Imagine that. <laughs> she That's the was hard part, right. right. Yeah. Kid is she right. Said, I don't know, yeah. Dad. I don't know. She said, "We're not doing that. I just like flower." And so she's about a bud, the top smoking right. experience, right. and exper And we buy weed from small boutique farms that have licenses. Is my nose growing? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be in Michigan. Uh, in April, we will launch in Nevada. We'll be here in California, and nice. we will be spending 420 in Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, man. yeah man. Source, Sourcing is probably Beautiful. the most tedious portion of the cannabis industry, right? Like finding a consistent supply chain with a quality that you want to put your name behind or stand mm. behind, um, for me at least, has become one of the most challenging and and costly parts of of the yes. business you know you yes. can't just call somebody on the phone and say send yeah. me a picture of what your shit looks like like you yeah. you gotta you, see it you yeah. gotta go and check it out yeah. I, well out of jamaica we would i and i genetics and my boy uh <coughs> Andre's a pretty good grower. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think they won an award when we were down there. God willing. Yeah. Well, hey. I, I, I check it. Even if no <laughs> one knows, you know, if you pick up our deuces, um, you would know it's sweet. It's so funny, too, because I, I plan on us getting in trouble because that's how, you know, I used to work for Fox. Right. Yeah. right, right so right. The, the more marketing, the it, I'm so yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, so yeah, much yeah, better yeah, yeah. at saying I'm sorry right. yeah. uh, it's than just saying, familiar. please, can I yeah. do it? My bad. Right. So I, I got there and saw 
that they market great when they want you to destroy your liver. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. I said, I wonder if I were to be in the same places that sell things that are bad for you. And I put up Deuces 22 Jamaica premium brand. Right. And so that's what we're doing in April. Like literally what's being designed, where it's going, where you see it. Yeah. If you can find the if you can find the ganja, God bless you. I'm not saying that we sell it. I'm right. just saying we cultivate it <laughs> and we want to sell to Germany. We want to sell to Spain. Right. Um, that's what I, I did. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So right. we're gonna go so find hungry. it as soon as oh, soon yeah. as uh, we're gonna go find it in Germany and Spain. That's yeah. my goal. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's funny. We're running kind of a parallel path because we uh, we're just starting to put our high end smokable CBD flour mm. in high end cigar shops, high end liquor Ooh. stores. You know, places where you wouldn't think that you might find cannabis, um, but it, it lends itself. You mean to hemp? Hemp. Well, can- hemp is cannabis. <laughs> So hemp can- is the cousin of the cannabis plant. No, 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 no. You guys, no. You, we have to separate it. People don't. That's why we have Republicans and Democrats. People <laughs> don't like one thing. You got well, no, we have to educate. But that's the no, we have to plant. educate. We have to educate. It's all cannabis. So, we've got hemp, and then we've got marijuana. Fun fact. Right. I, think, I think we've exploited this fun fact before, but uh, fun fact. Fun fact. Fun uh, fact. But cannabis is actually the genius of plant. Both marijuana and hemp are from the, of the same genius. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have a pet peeve when <coughs> a lot of these speakers at conventions they say cannabis or hemp, right. cannabis, and that's what they're using to differentiate. But they're the same. Right. And they're really they're the using same. that for yeah. a lot of different reasons. You know, yeah. one in which the word marijuana makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Right. So they feel it's steeped in racism. Right. And then two, there is a little bit of the whitewashing of the plant. And I think cannabis is a, it's a scientific term. It's a beautiful term, but it's also very, very Much, safe and very, yeah. very sterile. Right. You it's know. Accepted so I, and so we need to be very specific about how we use it. Yeah. But you, I just say this because we all know exactly i didn't discover the plant i was part of the brainwash until my last month as an nba play after i was gonna ask years. are you I was serious gonna ask you if you I, smoked I was during like, playing i was yeah, i was the worst person after my, how many championships 15, four four championships, oh, four three, championships three different teams long? yeah and 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 they this guy said you were like a wet towel sal like, <laughs> wet towel sal there's, there's no <laughs> use <laughs> in case you don't get it there's no use for a wet towel none <laughs> except popping somebody with it and wow. that's yeah dumb. Yeah, yeah so it was like there was no use and people used to sneak around me because i was so thinking and believing the lie the stigma yes. yeah and then I'm in Sacramento, we're in the playoffs, and um, I took two hits and was doing yoga and That's stretching a good in right? front of the governor, in front of, and I could not believe I had no pain. Yeah. Yes. And I said, and I almost was, instantaneously. Yes. I was on six Advil a day. Shit. Come on. And that's the one I'm going to mention. Yeah. But I had this thing about not, not playing. And. They don't pay you to be injured. They don't pay you to be hurt. To, to be clear, you when, you, when you say that when you're not... That's why you're a champ, though. That's yeah. why, that's, you know... Thank you. Honestly, when, you when, put in the work. And when you say... Oh, oh um, Yeah! It's hot I was down hot. there. Hot. Uh, when you say the one you're going to mention, I mean, are you saying that you were on painkillers? I'm, I'm sorry right. to be so direct. But, right. I mean, and we don't, we don't, I just, want, I just yeah. want to understand. Yeah. Uh, and that's what's crazy, right? You you started... Your body started moving. You said you did yoga. Yeah, well, see, I bought yoga. I, I'm going to do yoga. I do that anyway, and I'm a vegan. So I was already pushing this agenda since 91. Are you, okay, since yeah. 91. You've been a vegan since 91. Wow. I've been a lying so, vegetarian since 91. A lying. Okay. What's that? <laughs> Those are the ones who say, I'm a vegetarian. Can I have some egg with, uh, right, with right, some right. cheese well, on I top eat of fish. it? Well, fish. Right. Yeah, yeah. A vegan is not in the destruction or the manipulation or the exploitation of anything on the planet even an animal. Wow. So I'm an animal activist uh, by default when you're a vegan. Well, you should be when you say you're vegan. So my shoes, what I purchased to wear, the belt, the car I drive, Part of the reason of driving that's a Tesla. I roll up in that Tesla. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's John Sally. <laughs> and and, and I, I'm, I want an electric car because I don't like getting gas. I just personally don't I, like I getting I want gas. one because I don't like driving. Oh. And that shit drives it you. It drives you. That's, and it's 100% vegan. Right. It's not leather. I want one nice. that looks like a spaceship. Yeah. So, okay. so forgive my ignorance, but 100% plant-based, vegan, same shit, same thing? Another way of saying 
cannabis or hemp, right? <laughs> so they want to get away from the word vegan. It reminds them of vampire, mm. I guess. Uh, they want to get away from it. But vegans so they don't like blood. Based. Right. right. So why are you going to say vampire? They don't like blood. It's set up. It's a lot of those <laughs> conspiracies. Conspiracies. Right. Is this the wow. wording? So like you'll go in the store and they go, hey, we're plant based. Like my, I have a new cafe open in here. In I saw a that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple plant locations, organics. right? Is it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Got the CBD store. That's why I'm yep. like hitting you up. Like, wait a minute. We're gonna connect. Are you telling I've been me dying to connect. Invest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, get, um, we'll get into that. Yeah, but I, when you're plant based, that's it. You're based everything. You're based in plants. Everything you do should go around that. So not just diet, 100% 100 percent every day. Right. Living yeah. around them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Thinking about, yeah. You want to shout out but the the cafe? Plant-based organic oh, get a close There you go. There but you go. Let me let me get back to what I'm saying. The reason is America. So I say I was a dummy and then I got older and got smarter. Mm -hmm. I believe the hype. Yeah. I just know that you know, it was if you get caught smoking weed, it was they were going to test you and you, mm. you know. All but you that never, you never hear about oh, yeah. that, right? You don't Is hear it? about it. You don't hear. But about it happens. It. But they don't test you for opioids because they give them to you. They don't test it's you. It's just for like the beer military. They give it right. To you. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, the backboard says Budweiser. Used yeah. To. Mm. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So I think it's important for those who sometimes, you know, they kind of say in the Matrix, they, they usually don't free a mind after a certain age. Mm. So after a certain Oof. age. They don't willful know, ignorance. Yeah, yeah, you can't get yeah. to it. Right, right. So they'll hit you with the hemp. This has zero point zero zero six or three. You know, it's not whatever. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so so it make Walgreens and the people who vote crazy go, okay, let it in. Right. Yes. That's so acceptable. That's how we. That's why we use the word hemp and we separate it from cannabis and yeah, marijuana. Yeah, yeah. For those who still guard the gates. Yeah. And mm -hmm. Still write the checks. Yes. That we need to get into, we have right. to get into. It's an evil. It's an evil necessity. Guy, I teach you white folks. It, <laughs> it moves slowly, but it happens. <laughs> Thank you. You gotta have patience. You, you gotta, gotta have patience. You don't know. <laughs> like we don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as as advocates for the plant, you know, for a very very long time, and and you know, a lot of people secretly believing what what we believe and what we preach really right. because we're evangelists exactly you know we want to be living examples and moving closer to the plant means moving closer to plants mm -hmm. you know and so it, it's it's scary as a texan you know we lack because barbecue. i love my I moist you brisket I, you know what i wish so now that you told me that i'm going to get you some vegan brisket yeah i, I, okay. I would eat it what it what is what is I'm the base i'm telling you it's Yo, plants it's not soy it's Listen, plant based i, I have a it. thing I, with soy like i'm not right. like it's not the healthiest option yeah, and no but then you know it's been in china for 7000 yeah. years and there's 1.5 billion of them <laughs> they're, they're skinny and they're angry like they don't fucking they don't joke around they don't they're just mad Dude, all I, day I, I, but I, and i go and it's so funny because once again as a black dude you, you know sabi and and dr my, africa right there, you know, yeah. right mm -hmm. they the, the against the soy and go back and Nips then and i was in china things, yeah. and when i was in when i was in china i watched them grow and feed a lot of soy to those people. And then I go back to what Sabi said. Sabi said, it's not of our diet. Right. Ah. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I see where he's coming from with that. Yeah. Um, but like, I'm getting to be more and more plant based right. to the point where that's not even in a thought of mine. The because, soy. Yeah, because I'm literally pushing, like, it's kind of pushing raw foodism but sexier mm -hmm. by calling it plant-based vegan. Well, that's Sebi's thing, right? Right. Like, if you got to cook your shit, you don't need to be eating it. Exactly. Like, you got to cook it. <clears throat> and, but this is this is a trip. If you can cook up to 118 degrees, it won't destroy the DNA of a plant. Okay. But if the more real water you can drink uh, and algae you can drink or eat, I got another company I'm with. Uh, I'm a part owner of called SP2 Life, and it's we literally take the algae and we freeze it. So when you drink it or you get it, you get the alkaline state of it. And everyone goes, "Why do you do this?" And how? It's because I'm 55 and I'm four pounds lighter than I was when I played for the Lakers Come and on. ran every day. Yeah, yeah, when I was able to jump. Now, like so I won't even jump up. Day. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> I guess that's the there's there's a couple downsides you, to this plan. You know how good my day is. And that was going to be my question for you. What athlete? And and I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer, and I want to you know move closer. And you know we're husband and wife, so you're going to move closer too, baby. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm by sorry. Default. Ride together, die together. That's by right. Default. That's right. As I sit Ride here in a leather die. leather jacket, it's rent the right. runway though, so I didn't buy it. So so, I'm so small never steps. ever apologize. I was going to say anything you do. Okay. Ever. Okay. And and it's and it's because you do it because you want to. Yeah. It's not. It's not a false thing. It's took me till I was 36 years old mm. to learn about cannabis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm happy I did. You, got you were here around as fast it as though, you could. right? You weren't. You got I, here as fast I was as you could. so around it. <laughs> I mean, I was on. around it to the point as I was counting <laughs> joints at 14. <laughs> like York. my family what? business has been cannabis Damn. my entire oh, life. Now you're, it skipped but a generation. Johnny, me he, too. Johnny's yep. going to be a pro. Yeah, John, <laughs> Just leave like they out just, of My it. brother used to pass joints and be like, hey, don't smoke this shit. We're going to ruin this bitch. <laughs> and you know, they were like, don't you do this. Yeah. And I was Stay like, away. and I laugh when I think back to it. And I tell my brother, I said, if I ever write my book, that's in it. And it, they used to be like, yeah, and we used to act like we was blowing it away from you. And they would be in my head, right? Mm. But I would be in the hot box, <laughs> not realizing. It's just there. Not realizing you weren't getting that it, they would, and were, then they would yeah. be talking about things, and it would come back to what I needed to do, yes. why I needed to get out, right? Yeah. Who I was bringing when I got out. Wow. Right. Don't embarrass us when you get out. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of pressure. Shit. Yeah. It was, but they did it. Ooh, that is from the hot box. Yeah. yeah. And that yeah. was a cool part. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's tight. beautiful. You know, it opened up those neural pathways. I, I it allowed you to accept it. Even when you didn't know up here, you knew <laughs> somewhere in here. And, you know, still sometimes I have that experience, you know. I came to cannabis later in life as well. I mean, I was 30. But, you know, I still feel so like... a year ago? The dope dope. It's called charm, ladies hey, and gentlemen. That's to... my way. <laughs> <laughs> and he missed the line. <laughs> Slam dunk. <laughs> champ, champ, champ. Oh, love so, it. So, Patrick, when did so, you uh, what, start? Oh, go yeah. ahead. Sorry. Well, no, I wanted to ask sorry, you. Sorry. I wanted to ask your thoughts about what athlete today do you think embodies the plant-based lifestyle? I want to think of an athlete like now. You know, like a fierce competitor. You know, you are active. You know, yeah. active like fucking um, young. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. Shut Kyrie up. Irving He's got plant-based. better. <gasps> he Patrick's says it. Patrick's mom has the biggest crush. Oh really? <laughs> oh my God, Patty. Patty, this one's for <laughs> you. And yes, I am named Patty. after my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Patty Pope. I'm her son. Let's Patrick. just put that out there. Let's just, uh, you know. Born on Christmas Day. Wow. wow. It's weird. Yeah. He's the uh, only. Patrick He's Pope is my name, born on Christmas Day. It's, you know. You are the yeah. most Catholic of all Catholics. I know, right? And I'm not even Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> the world works in mysterious ways. <laughs> it I'm does. Jewish. Hey, it does, but Kyrie Irving, wow. Yeah. wow I, I yeah. also wanted to, just, just in, we were talking about leather in, in general, and I, I thought about this the other day w- about veganism, because I, I do contemplate it, and, I, and so I wanted to ask a vegan, uh, ask a vegan, uh, what? Crunch, crunch. <laughs> <laughs> eating vegetables. <laughs> what? Okay, leather jackets, there have been more made than we could ever need. Every right. person on this planet probably, probably could wear a leather jacket. We perpetuate the market by killing more animals. Would a vegan accept that, that, like, if I bought a vintage leather jacket, like, I bought it because it's here and I want to be sustainable and preach sustainability versus uh, the perpetuation of the market? So, again, I'm just wearing it to, to kind of promote that discussion. Okay, so, That's deep. Pat, you're such a sex symbol that when you do something like that, you are perpetuating more people to do that yeah. by leather. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So by you wearing leather and you saying it's okay because it's You're vintage and it's cool it. right. means it's still okay to murder over mm. 56 billion land animals for our pleasure. Mm-hmm. When there's a replacement that doesn't take. I, I, make, I make this so simple. And this is how, you know, you watch Joaquin Phoenix, my hero, constantly uses platform to talk about not and not taking advantage of somebody 
What? Wait, this is it? Because I, I got leather shoes that I'm not going to get rid of. I just don't buy any right. new yeah. I'm just leather shoes. I'm up for the purposes right. of but this respectful no. conversation. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I'm feeling hot. Okay? Gotta, <laughs> I'm sitting next to John <laughs> Sally, okay? Get rid of it. Get Hopefully, rid of it. there's a screen grabber right. too in here. But this, Let's not be seen wearing right. leather. <laughs> but, I'm always thinking about tomorrow. But it, it runs into this. And this, I, I've been thinking this, how I was going to put it, which way I was going to put it, um, you know, in my, in my speeches. But I'm um, a descendant of slavery. I'm a descendant of a time where people that look like me were considered to be of cattle and, and horses. The crazy part is... It's not that many years ago. Not that many it's years the, it's ago. It's like two generations. Like, so imagine, yeah. not saying that I understand what the horse, what the what the cows, pigs, right. and, but imagine that. Mm-hmm. Imagine being bred just to be eaten for our skin mm-hmm. when it's not a necessary food. Right. Right. The, the, the doctors have said the food that causes the most diabetes yeah. are chickens. Right. So 96% of all the meat that people eat are chickens. And it's the number one cost. Then think about this. We are losing water. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The reason we're losing water is because they're feeding it to the cows so they can murder them, so they can pig, so they can defecate, and they put it into the rivers, which are destroying our waters. Right. Oh so we're God. killing ourselves by thinking we like steak. And cows are so overbred at this point. It's yeah. now an environmental issue beyond the water. Yeah. And it's not even like, the farts. It's the burps. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the craziest. This is the craziest thing. I, I sat back one day and said, uh, do, I need, uh, do I need this? One of my right. things I used to think I loved was oh, Tuscan okay. State. I used to love Tuscan State. I'm going to have one Tuscan, Tuscan State before steak. I go plant yes. It's a big old fat... It's a big old fat and you steak slice with a well-fed it. steak from and that you, And you and you put wine on it, oh, right? That oh, was supposed to be it. Oh, and then it. I found a vegan meat that tastes just like it. Come on. I, 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 when I found out, it's really we don't like the taste of meat. We like the taste of seasoning. True, true. Right. And texture. the texture. Yep, texture. Dude, the right. Impossible Burger. Well, that's shit burger. Okay. You mean the Beyond <laughs> Beyond Meat Burger? What I'm gonna, but what the I'm Beyond saying, Meat Burger? Yes, that one. <laughs> and and what, what what I'm saying is that that avenue, right. like, it gets to a point where you're like, you eat that shit, and you're like, why am I eating yeah. meat? I, I mean, I eat, that bur- I eat that burger, and I'm like, why am I eating meat? This is fucking great. And right. what taste am I really missing? Right. What, right. Is the, what is the point? Right. I had an aha moment. I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but Tyla actually posted something on Insta, and she said, or it might have been a meme or something, but... Um, Tyla said, Milan. <laughs> Check her out. She Deuce said uh, something along the lines of... Um, it, if you dislike plant-based, you just don't know how to fucking cook. Boom. <laughs> that's, what, that's what she put. Thank you. And that was kind of like, thank you. Oh, that's shit, why she's the you know? yeah. Like Maybe yeah, yeah. it's not, <coughs> you know, because for a mm-hmm. meat eater to think about plant-based, my thought is, who in the house is still going to be consuming meat? Yeah. How do I get around that? Mm-hmm. So question, does anybody at the house still consume meat or the whole house is plant-based? Um, we don't bring... Any, Nothing comes in. Any animal or animal byproduct into the house. Oh. So I just got to <coughs> kick my kids out of the house. No, <laughs> you, you can do it. Them, it's just in switch. my house. Yes, yes. In right. my house. My whole house is. Yes. I have, I mean, like I had a leather chair, the, chair that was unbelievable. Oof. And you had to say bye-bye. Yeah. Because your, mm. your cool ass couldn't be sitting in right. that leather chair. And we I went around. We said, lot. do we cut the leather off and, and put a new cover? Yeah. Like, does that change it? And I kept thinking, well, I don't want to sit on a leather couch. I do because yeah. I know what it feels like. But I just, and There's check this out. I got, I got, I mean, this, I made this a whole business. So I literally am give me another, give me making, Instagram handle. making right shoes. <laughs> right, I'm making sneakers, belts, wallets, jackets. Bags. Where's that? Where's is that? That, that all already? comes out with deuces. It's a it's a mm, it's, all it's a deuces. premium brand. So what happened is I, I was sitting it. around a one day. Plant based brand. Right. Yeah. But without Lifestyle. having to say plant based. Like I said to somebody, right. no one ever says we're a leather company. Ever. We're, right. they, ever. Like yeah. Christ Furniture doesn't say we're a, a, a room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 
I just, I'm not, I'm, I'm just not gonna, like, that leather yeah. jacket, that, that was fly. Thank you. I kind of love that leather jacket. Just tell everybody it's hot. <laughs> okay, it's hot. It's friggin', uh, friggin' cold. Yes. Okay? <laughs> Thank you, and it's Rent the Runway, okay? I, seriously, I, I do not, I mean, and that is my small step, okay? We got to get a sponsorship for Rent the Runway. Right? <laughs> we need we something. Said, Thank you. Thank we are saying way something. too many words. I know you thought you loved it. Remember, it started with the, like, the ploy. No, it was it like, did. hey, what if, uh, what if, uh, what if you're if, buying what leather because you want to preach no. sustainability? Oh, shit. Right, <laughs> right. No, but I appreciate that. I'll ask one more question about veganism, and we could move on or not. But did you really um, convince Michelle Obama mm. to go in the way of the light? No, what happened is... Oh, my God, I'm like... It's crazy how shit gets twisted, what? Right? Yeah, like, what happened is... Just like, holy shit, uh, I'm in. It's done. So I was, I I was going down. to the inaugural... Cause I was like, I, I'm I'm, fine. I'm I'm going to White House. I'm gonna see this, and I I get I'm gonna see this. I get I get like a, I'm on. Right, right. I'm fucking going to I'm, the White House. I'm, I'm, I'm wanting. I'm wanting. I'm in. I'm Dude. on. <laughs> and I'm going with Ingrid. Yeah. Who founded PETA? P E T A. <laughs> and all of a sudden we got to uh, nah, y'all. You know what? We got to revoke y'all passes mm. because uh, I thought I think they thought she was going to do something crazy. She wasn't going to do anything crazy. She should have been wow. there. What? Like you guys represent literally putting a garden, hiring Tao. Right, right. right. Um, yeah. You, you, the way you guys look, our image of you, you playing basketball, um, look healthy. Michelle's arms. Yes. She spoke about awesome. food. So I, when she did that, we put out an article and we said, uh, I challenge you to go vegan. I, John said, I challenge you to go vegan yeah. for 28 days. And um, let's see what it is. And, you know, I didn't get an answer back. Oh, I was going to say accepted, Whoa, not accepted. Yes. Well, oh, that's but, the best thing about marketing. Press. You don't even yeah. have to get an answer. Right. You know what? I was poking Dude. the bee's nest. <laughs> hey, hey, I, was I, I was telling him. I was telling him. Yeah. 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 But wow. that was wow. a great they it was a great thing it veganism has changed in the past 10 years since i've been a vegan 11 years now it's 11 and 12 years now and it has literally jumped from tasting like cardboard with barbecue sauce mm. to literally tasting like animal flesh yeah. or human flesh because right. yeah, i right. think they taste yeah. alike yeah you had him i'm flesh. sure i don't well i would think it would taste like human <laughs> flesh <laughs> I do if so a cow Peas, farts, and fucks. Yes, I do. So I would think the meat. There's got to be yeah, more. Yeah, there's yeah. got to be no, more. We got we ribs. Got we got heart. You. We got intestines. <laughs> yeah. We got testicles. Like everything a cow has. This is when I really I realized I didn't first. want to be vegan. Why would I eat something that has the same parts as me? Mm. That, that was it for me. They have I was, noses. Once I thought about, it, I went, "Damn, they have children. <clears throat> they have sex." They fart, they pee, they fight. No they, thumbs, though. No thumbs. No thumbs, dude. Oh, and they still getting off. <laughs> yeah. Without them. Without them. They em. still getting off without thumbs. Animals do freaky Those shit. Well, well, I, I mean, chicken, chicken is everybody's healthy choice of meat, right? Like, I'm going to eat. leave me hanging. Oh, oh yeah. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry. They're still getting off. I can't go there. Chicken. But I feel the most cannibalistic when I eat fucking chicken. Like, you got to rip it off the bone. You got to get rid of the tendons. You got, like. Or not. Or not. Yeah. But, I mean. Yeah. Not. I, remember, I remember watching somebody mm. go back and, my, and I think of somebody. I know people think I'm an asshole. I'm not. I just want you to think this way. This has happened to me. You don't listen, have to we do have to what I do. To it also, okay. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to do what I do. But I remember when my mother used to say, "You had an uncle that would bite the bone and oh, suck yep. the marrow out." Do you know that stories. was the only thing good? Was the marrow, the marrow yeah. from the bone? Probably. Yeah. Like the rest of the stuff causes fat in your blood which causes heart attacks which is the leading cause of death in america so let me get this right so if you eat <laughs> animal products and you don't and you don't eat animal products you literally clean the system and you don't put animal fat in your blood you lessen your chance for the number one killer in america yeah okay and also it literally yeah. helps you move and detoxify your blood when you eat vegetables and drink water, yeah. which means that regulates your prostate, which means you can hold an, 
an erection longer, and you lessen your chance for the number one killer of men. Being cheated on. <laughs> number, <laughs> number one. <laughs> number one killer of men. <laughs> prostate cancer. So you can prostate eliminate cancer. you can eliminate the pill debilitating yeah. diseases and live a better life by not eating an animal. Damn. Wow. So I was like, I'm down. That's great. I'm down. Yeah. Especially for the, the erection. I need to make <laughs> the <job. laughs> Prostate Special. cancer is crazy. <laughs> Every man will have or die from prostate cancer. Period. That's that's part of us being men. My dad did. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I mean, one My out of three Americans die cancer. of cancer. Yeah. I mean, that statistic alone is fucked up, right? Mm. So once you start thinking about what you're putting in your body, go ahead. Yeah. You're exactly right. Yeah, I was saying I mean, my grandfather actually cured his prostate cancer. Reversed, reversed it. He reversed yeah. it um, when he and he went plant based, and this was 20 years ago. And I knew. So you're from a smart line of. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am. He's. I am. He's. Uh, no yes. He's. He's. He's 92 years old. Granddaddy Grow. He's still alive, and he's in Carmel, and he is plant based, and he's mm. been plant based, and I've always just. It's. I get it. Like I know it, but it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Sorry, Carmel. Babe. I might be there. Dog I might be there. Plant Friday. based. You know what I mean? It, but Uncle Marley. It's a beautiful thing. I might go hang out with Uncle Marley. I'm yeah. going to go hang out with Bob and Marley. Might as well. Yes. Hey, yes. you love it. You have a great time. Oh, and it's just it's it's it was a miracle. You know, this is what he did. Yeah. Boom. Red meat. Well, Actually, I mean, there's stories cancer loves red meat. all over the internet and about people just, juicing, ugh. going plant based, and yeah. Hey, Reading we themselves in Jamaica. of all kinds of shit. Yeah, we grow. Jamaica. We grow under the license yes. of of Itala. Right. Of, hey, of Ross. Hey, can we invite ourselves um to Jamaica in April? Yeah, I, I think April is Bar Barcelona so. though. I have it on tape. April's Barcelona. <laughs> I think Barcelona is mm. April well, or when, after after four. Whenever y'all yeah. are in. Yeah. Uh, right whenever before. Might, in no, no, no. It might be right after. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. We'll be yeah. there. No, we'll go. We'll you know who's there right now. Oh, Aldo um, called. Oh yes, shit! Aldo yeah, Caldo. I saw that. Yeah, he was on our, our podcast uh, last week. Yeah, um, John, I, I wanted to ask you. Um, thank you so much for sharing about veganism oh, and, and cool. just just yeah. in general. It's uh, one thing I, I was excited to talk to you about is what should the NBA be considering right now when it comes to cannabis and the plant? Oh well, I think they should consider not testing for cannabis. The fact that. Um, any athlete can go into a bar, get shit-faced, and no one says anything. Any athlete can go and show you his hurting leg and get an opioid and be addicted to it. Um, knowing that this lessens the addiction is one of the things I'm doing uh, in another part of my life is in, in drug addiction is I want to go in and clean the gut, but I also want to find out and do the research on how cannabis can help uh, people with opioid addiction. Because mm -hmm. it definitely can. Because yeah, it's a, a yes. pain. There's a couple of tests yes. that have been done and, and curving mm -hmm. like um, withdrawal symptoms. And yeah. I can't quote it because I don't know, but I have seen some studies that have come out recently. Well, my, yeah, my, I, my CBD company, I'm involved with Canavera. It's, we just got our OTC from the FDA that's over the counter uh, stamp from the FDA because our CBD is non-systemic. Mm. And so it's instant pain relief. Right. So if somebody were to tell me, oh my God, my knee is hurt. This is instant pain relief that does not get into your blood. I uh, can't tell you our secret, but what it does <laughs> is it literally stops. Magic. Right. <laughs> is it, it stops topical? pain. Topical? It's a topical. <laughs> Everything I was doing was topical because right. uh, the, <clears throat> the tincture is so off the chain. My, my mother just passed uh, last mm. month, I'm 96 sorry. years old. Mm. Thank you. But while she was in the hospital, she had to have a leg amputated mm. uh, in May. And she's sleeping all the time. She's not moving. I had um, the CBD in a spray. She was spraying everybody in the hospital. <laughs> oh, she was like, "This is my son makes this. Yep, this is yep. a miracle. I can go home, Johnny." I said, "Well, Ma, they said if you can get from the bed to the oh. wheelchair and back, you can go home." Do you know this lady would spray, wait, and slide back and forth? Come said, on, I, 95 years old doing that. No. It's I promise you, it's incredible. It's a miracle so drug. Oh. Now it's a miracle plant, plant. that yes. does what drugs can't. Yes. yes. Wow. 
Hey, call Star Kiss, that's mine. <laughs> it's a miracle plant that does what, what drugs, drugs can't. can't. Oh, wow. Damn. Mm. On this yes. show right here. That's right. <laughs> Greenhouse Podcast. Podcast. I know. Shit. Watch one of those Man. smart millennials yeah. have it on a t shirt. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Hey, you heard it here first. Easy business. You heard it here first. Easy business. I'm, we're just, we're so blessed that you, you came, um, as Josh said you would, yeah. you know, and as we remember you from Jamaica, yeah. you know, you were real. When I was trying to steal your camera. Uh, <laughs> I'm not trying to steal the camera. See, <laughs> Patrick was looking at me, he's like, is he talking to my woman? I was like, I need no. his camera. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's you the cute. The camera. Can I see the camera? <laughs> the camera. Like, yeah. John's wow. not talking to my damn woman. Damn it. Hey, oh. John. Oh. Patrick. Oh. Imagine this. <laughs> Well, I got I got a 23 year old well, daughter who's built, yes. who's a tall stallion. Do you know yeah. what I have? To, I'm like, I, I wind up standing to the side, putting my finger in my ear, not hearing what mm-hmm. dudes say. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, yeah. brother. They wanted to I, hang with you at the white party, but you were surrounded. Well, she was surrounded, and you were being dad, just oh. like Papa Bear protecting her. It was adorable. Oh. It was adorable. Yeah. You are, it was you a are true. You're a true girl dad for I, sure. I am a girl dad. <laughs> you are. I only got him. But this yep. is this is a trip about <laughs> Jamaica. I love Pat. I love um, my boy Douglas who who hooks me up. Um, D Gordon. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it's it's a magical place. It and I, I is. that was the first time I bought Tyler, and she said to me, "I know why you haven't." Brought us here before. Mm-hmm. I said, "Yeah, you yeah. Mess it up. Stay, yeah, yeah. y'all was gonna mess it up." <laughs> yeah, I was gonna be a granddad about ten years ago. <laughs> stay away, and like stay you away. Don't bring no. women to Jamaica, right, right. and I was like, nah, "No, you're not. You're not gonna spoil my life." Here. Right, right. Yeah. No, but I. Uh, it's a beautiful now, place. It's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and she loves the plant. You uh, know, she as loves well. the and plant. It's, it's really a relationship. Um, your your amount of fun and when connection with Jamaica is commensurate, I think, with your relationship with the plant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's just so connected. This would be the first time my wife and my daughter will smoke weed together though. Like my wife Wow. Like Can when we get Tyler got camera? in trouble at, hey, you know, you at had, this age for um, taking weed and smoking in the house. Oh. Is that, is that what happened? How did you discover she, she she liked the plant? Like what was that how did that happen? She oh, hates your the story. Shit. She hates oh, the story. Oh no what okay. happened? Her, she and her friend decided to go in her bathroom, which has a small window, Sorry, Tyler. and smoke in the bathroom as opposed to just going outside. So I did that at I mean, 14 they were probably years trying old to stay when warm. I started. What? I don't know what we the logic California. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hello. We it's, live in California. It's this, still it's, cold here in the shade. <laughs> it's, it's so how long does it take you? Right. Hey. So what, no. it was your wife who so was. I said, she's just mad you took her weed. Yeah, and she didn't yeah. realize that she goes, no, yeah, I, I saw it in the drawer. And I was like, this joint, say, I'm going to take it. It's my pops. Like, it's my, probably my dad. She won't know. Yeah, right. Right. Nah, you took hers. Mine is outside <laughs> with the bar. Oh, Different stash. And, oh, and oh this is a trip. I, had, I, have, I have a lot of glass. I have some unbelievable bongs, mm-hmm. um, some great art. I can't keep them. Ooh. I fucking break everything I own. Like, oh no! I treat it. I treat it like the Picassos they are. <laughs> and she Beautiful. did not until she got of age to realize that the art around the house were bombs. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. wow! She said, like you know, what? you hide things in, pl- in plain sight. I'm an American. Yeah. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> Put it in front of you. You right won't fucking see it. Right. Yeah. right. I this know is exactly part of my how childhood. It. Yeah. You know that's where her relationship started. <laughs> You know, kids are smarter than they seem. Oh, yeah. They yeah. see more. They smell well, more, you know. Well, she got um, a concussion. Oh, and when? And they were trying to get, playing she, on, a, on a bump bed. And oh, she got shit. up and she hit her head. How old? Uh, eight, 17, 18. Wow. So I took her to get her license. And I was like, don't take these pills. Because they were looping her out. And I, I took her to get her license at 18 years old here in California. She had a med card. And we smoked weed. And when she gets a headache or she gets a migraine, she smokes cannabis. Wow. Relief, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's so beautiful. It's, you know, such a wonderful way to be introduced to this plant medicine. Yeah. You know, truly, you know, when you need it. You know, it's just like any other medicine. Yeah. Um, you well, know, children don't there's need another it. medicine that oh. even... <clears throat> Talk to me. Ayahuasca. Mm. Yeah. And, I uh, haven't done it. Oh, uh, I did it last May. And let me just say this. When I got home, 
I go in the back. They said, did don't you go, smoke did weed. Did you go to a retreat or did you just take it? We we in Los Angeles, man. There's some rich folks like bring the Amazon here, <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, for and they sure. literally Let's... brought the Amazon here. Like Dude. I'm not joking you. But they you had brought a, sh- a shaman. Yeah, you had from a shaman the Amazon yes. to lead you through the process. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I, I feel and, him like yeah. here in a private plane. Yeah. And you know, yeah. I'm an American, so I don't listen. Right. Or I don't read Google before you go, and I go there dressed like this, oh, and everybody shit. else is in white, and it's about to be. I was like, hey, man. Y'all ain't taking me off the planet. But anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm going to go to Arrhythmia down in Costa Rica and do an eight-day trip. Because it it literally, I used to just think I was lucky. I'm lucky to be here. Right. Uh, What did they use? Oh, blessed, right? Mm -hmm. I'm blessed to be here. Okay. Uh, I'm lucky. Look at all the things I've done in the amount of time I was on the planet. And... Then I did ayahuasca and I realized <clears throat> the, the reason I picked this avatar is I already knew I was going right. to do what I've done. Right, right. Wow. So everything is, yeah. It's, everything it's is set. spirit and yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the craziest. And I, and I, I got back home and I told my <laughs> wife, I said, I really love you. I just need you to leave me alone sometime. Right. Like that, I just really need to find out and stay vibrating at right, this level right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so we need to uh one of our next guests either tomorrow or the next mm-hmm. night is peter cannabis mm-hmm. five years on uh ayahuasca trips here in la he goes religiously every, and he every says year? it breaks i think it's uh mm-hmm. it might even be more than like year quarterly? like once or twice yeah a year uh, hey, the um, deal is this amazing good, what would be a good intro to ayahuasca i think you ayahuasca. just gotta go I mean, yeah you go on the retreat right you go to so, you go to arrhythmia do, do, let's do a commercial I, for arrhythmia <laughs> So, if this is your deal, Arrhythmia, we're going to come down as a podcast, and you should take us through a trip right on camera, right here on the show. We'll do it. Yeah, we will we would, do I it. would we'll do that. Be there. That would be it, so. Ayahuasca is it would DMT, feel more right? For right. those that don't know, DMT is the actual molecule. Strange, the universe works in weird fucking ways. But yeah. I just learned all this shit today. What? In my meeting this what? afternoon. Oh. So ayahuasca is the actual root or the plant itself. Right. If you digest it, nothing happens. You have to mix it with one other plant, and I forget what it is. I'll find out, or we can ask Peter. You mix those two together, make it into a drink, and it allows your system to actually absorb it. So DMT, I think, I've I've never done either, but DMT, you smoke it, you instantly leave the planet. Like 20 minutes. Right. We have a DMT cartridge. I've smoked DMT. You did? Yeah. Yeah. We have a DMT cartridge, and I still have not smoked it. Uh, It's it's just been there, and I just, meh. So to become Just, a shaman real quick for these ayahuasca trips, I don't know if you're aware or, or not, you have to spend one year consistently every single day on ayahuasca she, yeah. to become a shaman. Oh. Oh. 365 consecutive days. It makes me feel like light is shooting out of my hand. But my, he friend, said, my friend is training right like. now with a shaman yeah. and uh, Julie down in today's her birthday. Wow. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Julie. Julie. Happy birthday. Yay, and, and, Aquarius. And she and her wonderful husband, the Jeff, lovers. They uh, he brought 20 people down. Nice. And she was like, yo, just come take eight days and visit Mother Ayahuasca. And there's a trip. Um, I grew up Christian and strict. You know, I know I know that book in and out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you and, better uh, stay away from weed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look at that lighter. <laughs> but when I, when I realized... A lot of things were told to me because they were told to them. Right, mm-hmm. right. These stories are passed down. Right. right. I mean, before except, we could even except write. Except when you're on ayahuasca. Right. You see the truth. Yeah. I, I promise fun. you. Peter said the exact same thing today. He said he was a douchebag and an asshole five years ago, started these ayahuasca rituals. He said you will literally be handheld and walked through this planet by God. Ooh, this is the crazy what does thing. What she look like? I, I, what I, she look like? She's, you know it's funny. She's so good, you Everybody, don't need eyes to see. I've never heard her you. as a she until today. These three people, well, these two and Peter, she, 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 she. To me, it's it's the craziest thing in my brain, right? Because everything is he, 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 right? Like Oh, yeah. And this yeah. plant right now is having such a moment, and it's a female plant that really gives yes. us the medicine. Yes. It is. It, it, we are alive right now for something very special. And, you know, that is what drives us in this industry, yeah. each one of us in this circle. And that is what the yeah. fuck is up. We are part of something that is, <laughs> that is big. Dude, this is, you, you have no idea 
we're doing this show right now. And in 30 years, they're going to laugh at us. That's the crazy part. They're going to laugh at us. That's the crazy they're part. They're going to look at this show and go, what were what? the ancients thinking? Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my yeah. God, I, yeah. if only we, would, this we could be the reference. We're this right. close. Okay. Right. We That'd are. Cool with that. We are. We just, right now, just need to realize yes. that somebody's going to find this and go, yes. these ancients were really tripping. These right. motherfucking we're ancients. We're trying. I want you guys to know in the future that we are trying so hard. Okay. <laughs> hey, ha- l- let me ask this. I, I think we're, ha- you know, it's, it's, it's a time of awakening. Do you think that um, we really are on the verge, humanity, of shifting? Yeah. I, 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 feel, like th- I feel like that. So I would love to know your thoughts. To the point where everything is now female. No, I'm good. I'm not chilling. Everything (laughs) is female. Yeah. Everything. Everything. Right? Anything you see from when I'm growing up, when people, of course, you say, man, you see any black people, you just say, well, we knew why. But then I saw way more black people when I was growing up than I see on television now. But what I see a lot of is female. Female superheroes, female sports, female newscasters, mm. female sportscasters. Oh, female fighters? They're, female so, prolific. Fi- They're so prolific. Commercial. Like everything is now moving to the, to the point when everybody used to think, I, you know, I had all daughters. Mm-hmm. And I was, my daughter Tyler played <laughs> on a team that was all girl in an all boys lead and didn't lose a game. Come on. Hey. Oh, they were beast. That needs to be on to your To the point That's when I'm yelling there. down from the That's stands, I'm like, turn him, turn him. He can't dribble. And the father <laughs> leans up. That's not a nice thing to say. <laughs> hey, <laughs> shut up, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'm like, I'm like That's just great. coaching her you have to. without She's looking at her gender. Right, right. Like, do this. But when I was growing up, you, you know, you didn't do that. No, not no, close. no. Oh. It's such it's a such a beautiful thing. It's just no. like, it's so empowering the shift in the just cultural mindset, to you know the honoring of the female. You know, I really think the majority are trying, you know, to truly honor the female, and that makes you better men. Right. You know, I mean, come like on now. Like there's things that come on. <laughs> they used to say in movies <clears throat> and. Oh yeah. And and you, they don't. You can't do that. Days, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. wow. You can't even say that yeah, shit yeah, yeah. on this podcast. No. Right. Yeah, no. <laughs> and no. I was like, I, was, I used to say, yeah. man, they used to call me soft. Now everybody is like, yeah, you know, you gotta respect the female. Oh, well, 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 <laughs> <laughs> still got the pimp voice. I grew up on Facebook, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Still got the pimp voice. Got the yeah. pimp voice. Yeah. Yeah. But you gotta respect each. Oh, right. I know. Right. It's so true, it's so though. It's so true. But you know what? As the female who, you know, I work in an industry where there are many, many males and they're trying so hard, but they still have the pimp voice. You know, you can't hate them for that. Right. You know, they're trying. Everybody's and, and if you doing expect the them, can. if you're if you're going after them, then that your energy is just going to a, a bad place. You have to progress. Right. You have to show them, you know, and it's hard sometimes, you know, and poor Patrick, I just like it all comes out on him. I'm like, could you believe that motherfucker? But I think <laughs> I think you hit like, the nail yes, on the head you know, when you say the energy, right? Like yes, we all yes. agree there's a universal energy, there's something mm-hmm. that fuck that word up energy universal energy um that ties all of this together right like there's a reason why i got on the plane with you after seeing you in jamaica there's reasons that i learned about ayahuasca today and you're now preaching about iowa all there's a reason for all of this 90 i don't know the 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 number but uh, a shitload of people don't even understand that that energy exists right they're born and bred in a time where they're on their phones they're watching tv and they don't understand how that affects their energy right right and it's like this energy thing is 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 the the instagram we're talking about the moon and crystals like people are literally remember when they start going back to the original that's the shift Yes. It's not It's not going to be, hey, this is going to blow up. It's just that there's going to be more people saying, hey, let's slow down on the greed. Yes. Let's slow down yes. on the destroy, on the destruction. Right. That That's the shift. Because we don't need anything. Everyone thinks, like you take an antibiotic, clear everything out, and then start new. Mm-hmm. No, let's just clean up what we got. Right. Let's right. clean that up. Let's yeah. figure out how to do things and live uh in harmony with the planet and 
once you do this plant, you're going to realize this is just like um, Yoda said to uh, Luke Skywalker, this this is nothing to yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you are this, you are that, you are all energy. Yeah. Yeah. How about that was in the second Star Wars? Yeah. <laughs> Right, yeah. it was in the second Star Wars when Yoda was speaking. Of, yeah, Yoda was speaking. He was like 1984, I think it was. Uh, it, it, it was the early 80s. It was yeah. like Yoda was was telling people about energy. I'm having a well, Star Wars out. nerd wow. threesome right Trip now. out on this. <laughs> My 16 year old is the one who put me on the game. Wild. He's the <laughs> scientist dude. Yeah. Um, but he told he said. Um, um, he's the one when I, I was breaking down something I forgot what it was but I, I explained to him how everything down to the atom operates on energy right like the torus of energy out the top around right. the sides and through the bottom from the individual atom to the galaxy yeah. to whatever we know the earth everything it operates in that same thing um, so when you die everybody loses a certain amount of weight like 22 kilograms or something yeah. uh, my 16 year old said well you can't um, what, what's the what's the law of physics or whatever? You can't stop energy. You right. can only transfer it into... You cannot destroy energy. Right, you can't destroy energy. So he said, what happens to all of that? If we're all energy, every single atom, where does that go when so you die? It's the same as when you're inside the womb and they pull you out of the womb and then they pat your ass and that, and that mucus comes out right. and you cry because the first time you take in air... Right, you now have a new energy. Right. So yeah. the taking in of the air is the energy, and then mm. when you die, that last breath, you pass that energy. And there's no more. So then mm. this avatar just goes back to what it was—a skin suit with bones. When you do ayahuasca, you realize this right. is just a skin suit Woo. with bones. Mine just happens That's to dope, be because I'm kind a of prettier brown. I kind of assumed that. <laughs> Thinking that, because uh, I'm not super religious, born right. and raised from a Jewish family, my right. wife's super yeah. Christian, um, my thought process has been that universal energy, right? And right. then once it gets close to the end of this life or whatever, it it goes somewhere else. That's how I've kind of, because you have to have faith in something, I think, yes. to, to live day to day, right? <clears throat> to know that this is not all for nothing, right? Because once you figure this shit out, why are we really going to work? Why okay. we really? <laughs> okay, okay. I, I know believe. I know. I, I know we believe we have to have faith in something. But why does it have to be the rhetoric, the rhetoric, and of someone else? Right. Right. Or right. somebody else's belief. Right. Let me let me explain that. I'm sitting in my backyard, <clears throat> and I'm smoking, and I see this squirrel, and it, you hear a lot of buzzing in this tree, and it. Come down this other squirrel. One runs off and one stays on, and one runs along. No, we're good. Okay, one runs along. It goes back up, and it's with the other one. I don't know if it's a female or whatever, but now it's two. Okay, so there was three? It was three. Okay. One got <laughs> run out of the tree. So then all of a sudden, uh, a, a nut falls, and I see it fall. And so I'm like, wow. One comes down looks side to side, picks up the nut, eats a little bit of it, grabs the rest of it, goes back up in the tree. This shit happens every day. Ooh. So why is it we feel we have to go to work to make money to live a life when the squirrel right. is just trying to get a nut? <sighs> and the squirrel that ran away was trying to get a nut is why that other squirrel ran him down the tree trying to get where his nuts were. Is this a true story or this just some analogy story. you fucking made up? <laughs> this is a true story. And I, I paid attention to birds and I paid attention to everything right. else. Most, mm -hmm. they try to survive day by day. That's day right. Day. Yeah. Where to, to eat, eat and where to survive, where to have <laughs> sex and, yes. and, and raise their children, yes. where, right. and how to teach their children right. to survive. Right. Yes. We as humans feel well, not only do we have to survive, we have to survive in luxury, right. which is true. It's a great thing. Yes. But why do we put so much in because we're trained to be ants? If you can pick any way to live, this is going to be the tripped out part. <laughs> yes. If you can just sit for a second. on money? No. No, so I, I am so excited. For the, I know, I know, no. <laughs> this is yes. so good. There's, yes, there's yes. no, you, okay, right now, yes. if you can choose to have it, 
anything you wanted and to live any way you would want to live. I need some more weed for Pick this. that. Pick it. Get it in your brain. That. Okay. Don't wear, don't get a, away from it. Pick that. Just go in your brain right now and say, if I could live any kind of way, this is the way I would live 365 days a year. Right. I'm doing it. Right. It's the craziest yeah. thing. I am living yeah. exactly how I would live. Yeah. If I could, because I sat back and was like, well, what else do I want? <clears throat> do I want a bigger house? Well, you know, I'm thinking about getting this house in Atlanta. I got one ass. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Will you Smith's father, God rest his soul, uh -huh. pops told me, he said, Sal, I hear you got four cars. I was like, yeah. He goes, you got some classics? I go, yeah, I got a 63. Uh, T-Bird, convertible, I got this, I got that, I got this. <laughs> and he goes, where? I said, in Detroit. He said, we in L.A. Who's in your cars? Ooh. And I was like, uh, nah, man, nobody touching my cars. He said, you got one ass, it's nowhere in your cars, and you got four depreciating assets in your garage. Thank you. And he said, Damn, Will and, Smith's dad. And, you, <laughs> and you think <laughs> you're doing idiot. well. You think you're doing something. Man, oh, I wow. never forgot it. And then it I started brilliant. paying attention. Like, yeah. what do I need? What do I want? I was in Costa Rica. I did this show. I'm a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Get me out of here. <laughs> and no matter how many times you it's hit that brilliant. button, they were doing a TV show. You wasn't getting out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I finally uh -huh. realized that I trip on the dumbest things. Like, you know what I'm saying? On stuff. Yeah. Like, I got so much stuff in my house right now that I go, when I move, do I take it? Because it's just stuff. Yeah. So back, back it, that the, stuff just, like drowns you. And you know, when you does. asked that question, yeah. I was going through all of my vacations. Honestly, like, ooh, do I want to live in Brazil? No. Right. I mean, that would kind of, it would be amazing. But it would I kind think of be I want to live in Bali. I've never been. Bali and I've never been. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> but I love, I think I'm a gypsy. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm doing it. I'm living it. You know, yeah. like, I am living for this. It's so, it's so great. Like, yeah. truly, this is our job and but this again is our why are we as humans so beautiful trained acting like squirrels right like we don't need to pack shit up for the winter mm -hmm. i got a shoe i got that's a true. closet full of shoes that's true collected them forever and ever and ever Dude. i got to some point in my life where i was like the fuck i got 200 shoes for right then my kids turning 16 17 becomes the same size dad can i have this shoe can I have there this shoe? Go. I'm like, yeah, take Yeah, because I'm putting them on eBay. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get them to sell them now. Yeah. Um, Put the link. But why, Put the link. why do we have that pack rat mentality? Like, what yeah. is the... Yeah. And we didn't squirrels. grow up in squirrels, right? Squirrels. And then ants. We start talking we, about ants. Yeah. If why? you go up to yeah. a 30,000 foot view of the of the earth, like, we look like fucking ants. We, we don't like leave. We walk in a line. Yeah, like, we, we go to work with our things. face down. We come yeah. home. We yeah. go. And then the other part, we're at, we act like fucking dogs, right? Like, we want to be in our kennel. Yeah. You want to be in your comfortable space yeah. with your paintings mm -hmm. and your this and your that. That's your comfortable space. Guess like, what happens when you die? Yeah. People pick through your shit. Right. Ugh. Be it family or... Yeah. Oh, oh, I got dibs on this. Yeah, yeah. My daughter said, hey, I got dibs on all your cuffs. Already. Links. What are you going to do with my cuffs? Already. <laughs> yeah, do shit. And why, uh, why are you constantly telling me <laughs> yeah. your dibs on my shit? <laughs> if I'm dead, yeah. you can have it yeah, all. Take it. Take it. No argument Just here. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, wow. enjoy whatever. So help me understand Jesus. that, that oh. mental space. Is it just... Uh, the consumerism of music and television and everything that we see in front of us that that builds that right because the the, the this, people who have money have had money forever this is the shitty yeah. part and this is when it comes down to and i'm trying to work through this um but we are ants and this is the ant farm what kind of ant you want to be because you're not going to be... I don't want to be a fucking ant. Right, I know, but <laughs> but we're on an ant farm. Well, right. what are the options? I mean, I want to be a good ant. Exactly. Like, tell the me options the options are. are the like. options are, you get to think of a way to Bezos. Like, we would yeah. think, you know, Bezos at, at Amazon has the best life in the world. I love Being the richest so man in the world. He works Do you so know hard. he has no privacy? I know he doesn't. You know, that's the number one security you can possibly have. Dude, no privacy. He sacrifices that. And I, for that, I think he's All like the money in the world and you don't have any dude. privacy? None. 
No. I'd rather privacy and no money. Right. But he is doing more. It's not just about money for him. I he's agree. it's not just about money. He's changed the way I, consumers I love him. shop and he, do things and like yeah. he's kicking it with my girl. <laughs> Way yeah. to go. That's my that's my dog he got with. <laughs> but the deal Dude, but I, the deal is this. Like, I love Jay Z and Beyonce. And I realize they sacrificed I mean, their cool. life for every right. they sacrificed their life for change. Believe yes, it or not, Kanye yes, has sacrificed did. his life. Yes. He can Dude, never like walk that, outside like right now we no. got out. I can go into Ralph's. No. I can have a couple of people say, what's up, John? Yeah. yeah. Then I can have most yeah. people not even know. Yeah. I got my anonymity back. Yes. Yeah. That's so, I'd rather. It really is a gift. And no. I still got some little, some dough. It's a little yeah. bit of dough. <laughs> you know, so that's good. And you live in your best plant-based life. So I invested in flower wood that's in right. Canada. Cannabis. You know, I think, you know, cannabis. Grow House Media will, uh, you know, <coughs> send you our investor <coughs> perspective. That's what I'm saying. Hey, man, I mean, that's the kind of thing we do. But, you know, I, I think that, that those people are true trailblazers. You know, the reason they're so polarizing, like we talk about the Kanye's and the, you know, um, who was the one we even started to talk? Bezos. <laughs> Jay-Z, Beyonce. You know, I mean, they're the fucking, like... They're trailblazers and they're sacrificing that anonymity. Yep. And they're, I think they're trying desperately to fucking live their lives. John you know? Lennon. Oh. They, they all just realized, to me, yeah. what John Lennon was talking about. Like, what we're talking about right now, John Lennon said in 1968. Mm -hmm. I, he was like, yeah, it's yo, it's all love. He said, I'm not getting out of my bed. I'm doing a sleep in. Yes. He fought the government, dude. Yeah. Sleeping with Yoko Ono. He fought ono. the government to st and stayed in his bed and won. And didn't wasn't it Yoko Ono involved in that? All we need anyway. is love. Thank you. <laughs> wah, 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 Thank wah. you. You know what I'm saying? Yoko, I, I love said, you. said I, I watched back and I was like, wow, they don't even talk Support enough her. about that. No. Right. Like this dude was seriously, seriously no. on some. Um, well, they don't want that on the shit. air, right? Because women are the N word of the world. <laughs> He wrote that song. The dog, he was talking, Bob Molly. And it's mm -hmm. so funny, they still sell millions and millions and millions of records. Kids are listening mm -hmm. and sweet. hearing it, but now they hear it. Right. Yeah. And so this is another part of the change. People are now hearing it and making change. Yep. They are. Yeah. It's funny. Rastafari. He's he's right on point yes. with what Nate yes. said. I don't know if Nate said it during the podcast or not, but um, the the paradigm shifting from tech 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 gimme 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 mm -hmm. to conscious and earth aware and let's kind of flip the script yes. it's our kids right it's too late for us yeah. but yeah. it's uh, it's our kids that are going to make that shift yes. yes i saw a fucking flip phone at best buy yeah, I, I just saw it too. It's a start. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I I'm mean, like, how I need fun that. is that for them? How fun is that for them? Some of them truly do want to disconnect right, right. and enjoy. You they know? don't believe the and news. They should have. Yeah. No, they don't. That's they why, why, is why this media company is so important. Yes, yeah. that is. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Thank you. Because mom can't say it because she's not cool. But the right. fact is. Mom, you look, they smoke is, a bomb while they're talking baby, about no, it. Baby, no. It's just, no, oh, it's not cool. Not and, out. you know, right. it's. Like, it's that's, that's a really good And read. it's conflicted. You a Thank you. I, I appreciate you saying that. You know what? No, John, and, and that's the thing. It's we are, we are friends and we are spreading a message. And I think the more we can come together and broadcast that and amplify that in any way that we can, the better off. Right. You know, I truly believe that. So we will figure it out. I, I want to say this. Our, our prime directive, uh, the thing we, we are doing is we are trying to affect change in our community, which is Central Texas, and it is uh, it's slow, slow out of the gates. Uh, you being on this podcast, us being able to go back yes. to that community and say, like, check this shit out is going to be so uplifting and uh, just so good for what what we're trying to do there and so i'm very grateful oh, for your yeah. time and being that, that is the most important thank you, thank you, thank you for having thank me you so much. it's all about my man josh and patrick and their mustache thank you and their mustache <laughs> that's not a beard that's just a mustache <laughs> one that is lives. one big mustache <laughs> so, Sally, can you just say my name i just want to hear you say my name you want it's me to liz grow is my name but why i, I say liz grow I, my name is liz grow 
My is last it really? name is Gro. Yes. Oh my, here we go again. My name is Liz Gro. G O W. Liz Gro. That's why they're Gro House production. <laughs> wow. Yeah, for real, I've known her since I was 13. Really? Yes, yeah. my grandfather is Colonel Gro. Just my like great grandfather is General Gro. <laughs> Look it up, baby. All right. The Gros. The Gros. <laughs> it just keeps growing. It just keeps and growing. And growing and growing. It does.